Okay, guys, something new is happening. I'm not streaming on YouTube as well. I know that some of you guys only chill on YouTube and never spend time on Twitch, so I want you to be able to enjoy the streams as well. So I discovered that I can afford to do multi-streaming without having any issue. So I did my first stream uh, on Thursday, and we're going to start doing them again next week, six days a week, multiple hours per day. It's going to be really fun. And regarding that game, we have such a nice snowball going. It starts with a really smart play that we do. I mean, it's probably more stupid on enemies and and smart from our end but it's like pretty like game changing play and then you're gonna see how I actually like snowball that lead by having one of my longest freezes this season I actually build a 45 CS lead just on one freeze you're gonna see that it's pretty nuts and then after that I have such a big lead but it doesn't mean shit if I cannot snowball that lead to victory so you're gonna see how I do that how I start moving on the map etc how we go for the cleanest end possible hope you enjoyed the video thank you for being here much love <laughs> Okay, it would be pretty nuts if we actually get Aatrox Flash here. Well, that's my last game of uh, this stream. Wait up. But bro, Pike, you're the guy with the CC. If you wanna go bot, you go bot, we, we follow you. Like... <laughs> You are the one deciding, but now I don't like that Vigo is going first, though. As you wish. Um, let's see. Both lane, they have the scaling. We have the snowballing potential, but it's, it's going to be hard to snowball into Braum. Mid lane, we actually do have the scaling, and we can probably punish in early. Maybe that TF can punish... Uh, Kelly early on has ignite, has ignite and first Drake. Interesting. Um, jungle. The good thing is like we have a really good setup for Viego. Like on a gold card, we can look to kill them one by one and give Viego resets. But again, they have Brom. Should be a pretty big clutch factor. See you. Trying to make me think that. Okay. That's good to know. Follow my play. But what's Aatrox doing? Okay, well, he missed one series of XP for that. Wait, why is Echo going top here? Can look. Didn't freeze. Very good. Boots, long sword attack speed. I think that's gonna be the most gold efficient. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know why Echo went like to top side after one camp. Try to contest his his raptors when they have no top prior. I don't know. You're ready for flash guy gotta unfollow. Is it not the basic setting? Like I didn't touch it, I think. Like, like, by default, it's D. Why would I change that? Doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I missed these two CS. Okay, let's focus just a tiny bit. Oh! This guy's dead, no? Yes. He is. Should have dodged his Q3, though. Made the play a bit closer than should have. He's gonna TP now, so I'm gonna keep the wave in that spot. Stand back up with Red Buff in Qs, and maybe we can look. Hmm. Not a big fan about this Raptor's call. 
I'll just wait to be full HP and have level 5 probably. I need to not trade any HP before that. Okay, still having red buff. That's flash though. Okay, nice dodge by Aatrox. But he's still Giga out. I don't want to share too much XP. My jungler. Cannot avoid that. Okay. I will wait now. I will wait 5 minutes before hitting my Demolish proc. Okay, now I can hit. Let's go. He has tier 1 boots, so I'll go tier 2 boots, so I make sure that I stay faster than him. Play a bit more ID. Why wait on the demolish proc here there? Because demolish is it's 80 damage, not true damage, so it'll be 3-5 minutes the turret is tankier. So I need to wait for the turret to get squishier, so I actually get the plating. And during that time, I can well, hit the minions. So I don't lose any DPS time. Uh, I'm just a bit concerned about Akali moving to my Viego, so I'm just gonna hover. Just a tiny bit. And then I see that she's not coming, so I go back top. Um, I can set up for level 6 all in. It's gonna be easier if the wave is on my end. He might not respect the fact that I legit get level 6 on next minion. I am your worst nightmare. I'll drop a ward here. This way I have vision on what he's doing. I know if he's looking to go for a minion or not. And he well, most likely cannot, cannot really play now. Cannot fix that by himself, so he needs Echo. Making sure to wake up every time a minion is dying, so he actually misses the XP from that. If he ever gets confident again, it probably means that Echo is here. So I need to read his body language, you know. But I mean, I have all accesses covered. Well, he's not farming. And he's missing on a lot of XP. Oh, it's gonna end up fixing itself because my minions are getting stronger by the minute because we're building a bit XP diff. Okay, need the cannon. Still letting him get a bit a bit too much XP at any rate. Okay. 
will be a slaughter. The way is getting fixed soon, unless actually maybe not. I'll build this 30 CSD because of that. That's that's actually two kills. Now he has even more pressure from Diego. I know he hasn't been farming for like four or five ways. I could kill him by the way, like pretty much any time, but I don't think it's worth the investment unless I know where Echo is. Well, you can see SA trucks. I'll give you a little little window to breathe. Such a nice guy. I'm going back with Kraken when you have a long sword, you know. So. Um and Giga Tiatev, Atrox and Echo hasn't come to help. Yeah, true. Like he should have asked Echo to come like forever and Echo should have came at some point. Your resolution, if that's the question, that's that's the one okay, on the big screen. I am your worst nightmare. Do you not like Trend Mint? I kind of like it because, I mean, it's really strong. It's stronger than Top, obviously. But I just I just like Top better. Like, the things that I, I just did, for example, I cannot do it in mid lane, you know. I guess what I'm doing right now, letting it bounce to me again. I'm not a big fan. Never mind, I'm a big fan. Yeah, you get to share my XP. Well, I get T1 here before they take it. I don't have my E, so even if I just run, like, I know I can tank one more turret shot, but I would think like, that would be a less one. They cannot tank. The bad news is that they have a fed Akali and Akali can deal with me. Actually, probably want to base for our quick blades. So I'm gonna stay on the map for just a bit longer. Should have probably looked for red buff instead of golems. A bit late, but can come. Maybe it's French settings. It's Q on A, W on Z. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, on a, I'm on. It's a, it's a French keyboard. Uh, me prob.
Som on top. Safe bot. Echo stop. Ok. Please no one going top. Hydrox is pretty useless, shouldn't be a threat to my team. Okay, never mind. Now the problem is a caddy. I have two items, but she probably beats me. Got some. I mean, probably not actually. We're getting the Herald. Get this. But she's gonna beat me soon. Like I think like like two items a Kali can beat three items strength. Depends on the items. So maybe I need to look to bring a Kelly on the side lane, then rotate, or empty the jungle. You know, like just bring Mayday to other places. I think I didn't miss that E. For the Bonish proc. I have six grubs. Shouldn't be too hard to get it. I think PD could fit, could fit here. Uh, don't know how well I can explain it. Way it does fit. I just have an itch for it. Yeah, we don't want to play now. We want to save our Sims and play for this. I mean, it's French keyboard doesn't mean that it's just that we're not in QWERTY when AZRT, like the first, like, still the same buttons, you know. Just like not the same letters, but it's on the same spot. If that wasn't clear, I don't know. Okay, let's make sure we have some vision. I mean, I'm probably giving just a bit too much, you know. And that was both ghost and flash. Okay, that was that was a bit too much. I just I just saw the opportunity to get uh, soul point. That's what we were playing for. Nah, that was that was way too much. Though. <laughs> Got a bit too excited. It's okay. We play for this. E bot after playing Ash.
Yeah, my bed, my bed, my bed. I was like, oh my god, soul points. Items and Intrax still doesn't have one, yes, indeed. To be looking like this. Well, go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Let's go, hit it, click on it. Echo was bot, plus we have vision. No one's gonna defend mid though. So we just give two one mid. Cause why not, you know? Why not? Okay, well so far we're able to actually snowball from our lead. Wait, all I'm allowing not to play right now because TF is not playing right now. You can play on three waves and TF can like ult from a wave to another. I think 3-1-1 is actually pretty smart. Just let them come at three on me and just play for the rest of the map. Shit, Vigo is in a. V1, okay, well as I said, like, TF can move from a lane to another. Yeah, we just play everything. We don't need to be in a hurry. And they cannot just play here. See, no need to go crazy sometimes. Just play it slow and win with the minions. Nice. That was a good game. Was I was able to snowball from that double kill early.